What up, Virgo? Welcome back to the... F I almost said welcome back to the family. Well, I like it. What up, Virgo? Welcome back to the family. It's your girl, Jeannie, and you already know what it is. So let's just get into the energy, fam. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. First of all, there was a message here about you receiving money through any which way avenue. I feel like um, I was getting that song, It's Raining Men, but instead, you know, it's raining money. I feel like um, finances, money is going to come through weird sources, weird avenues, just all of a sudden, um, out of the blue. Um, and I like the energy, Virgo. So let's see, what, <laughs> let's see what's going on here for Virgo. Okay, we have Feather, Ascension, Presence of an Angel Connected to Higher Realm, Sign from an Angel, Virgo. So I do feel like at this time you are tapped in and they want you to know it. They want you to know that you are not alone and that there's angels around you in your presence. You may be seeing them, feeling them around your house. Do not be afraid. Virgo, you are connected to the Higher Realms. They can give you signs through feathers, ideas, intuition, sudden realization, Virgo. All of a sudden, you can feel like there's someone in the room. All of a sudden, you can feel like there's something that touches your shoulder. There's a telltale sign. There's a telltale way that you know that these angels are in the room. Um, Virgo, they're giving you ideas in your sleep. Um, and the things that you are watch, they're guiding you to movies and shows and music that will get your attention so that you can get these signs from the angels this is a strategy going on in your energy okay um here we go we have coach um these angels these ancestors are giving you some type of advice they want you to be obedient and gain the knowledge and wisdom that they are trying to tell you number five also deals with the higher thing this is spiritual wisdom here that they want you to be committed to this could lead you towards better jobs institutions they could lead you towards people places and things oh we have blessings okay i love this energy so far virgo i feel like they are going to advise you you are going to be led towards blessing coaches you're going to be led Led towards people who can coach you into getting your blessings you're going to be led towards readers you're going to be led towards people you're going to be led towards teachers you're going to be led towards things that can help you be more fulfilling have more fulfillment have more abundance gain enlightenment here with this blessing more with the enlightenment energy and then we have care support patron Whew, i'm crying <laughs> oh lord I cry over everything, Virgo, but that's because that's because I can feel the energy, okay? That's because I can feel the energy. And there's someone here, there's angels here. There's angels here that want you to know that you are cared for. Oh, Lord Jesus. There's angels here that want you to know that you are cared for, that you are supported. They want you to feel the support. They want you to feel like they're this um, patron in your life here. They want you to have that evidence to know when you are blessed, Virgo, that it's from God. Ooh, stop it. Stop. Okay, they want you to know when you get these blessings, when you get the uh, unexpected money, when things work out in your favor. They want you to know when you get the evidence. They want you to know it's them. It's them. It's the angels. It's your support team. It's the people who really care about you. Oh, Lord, have mercy, my heart. Virgo, love is about to be shown to you in so many different ways. And they want you to know, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, God want you to know it's them. It's their love. Their love being shown in these ways. You can be mad right now. <laughs> you can be mad over things. Why me? Why did this happen? Why aren't they doing what they're supposed to do? Relax. They don't have to, Virgo. They don't have to care for you. They don't have to give you the things that you need. The angels are here for that. See, when the world turns against you, God is for you. <laughs> when the world turns against you, Virgo, God is for you. Don't be mad. There's a lot of unpleasantness that you're dealing with, Virgo. But good news is coming towards you with this West wealth investment and good news, miracles, and surprise, they need you to be ready for this, Virgo. They need you to be ready for the gain that's coming your way. They need you to be prepared through all the disasters, through all the energies, 
the enemies, through all the people who never apologize, through all the loneliness. They're about to liberate you. Oh my goodness, stop. I'm sorry for being so dramatic, but it's taken everything in my body not to dirty cry right now. Like, dirty cry, Virgo. There's some karma coming in. Ooh. There's some type of karma coming in for you because there's people who left you out in the cold. There's, they casted you out, Virgo. You experience failure. Some of you experience homelessness. Oh my goodness. Some of you experience homelessness, okay? Some of you experience back pain, shoulder pain, illness in the body. Some of you were really, you couldn't take care of yourself. It was a real misfortune. It was a real hate. It was a real catastrophe that happened to you. And those people who were supposed to help you, Virgo, they showed you no love. They showed you no love. And all you can do is imagine gaining. All you can do is imagine getting what you deserve. And you just kept preserving. You just kept jumping over obstacles. You kept living even though those people beat you down. Even though things didn't go your way. Even though you experienced catastrophes. Virgo, you just kept going. And now you're being promised something. Because you kept going. And this is happening on a schedule. This is a plan. Whew, you're going to be sleeping good at night, Virgo. This is fated for you to happen here. We have stopped in vision problems. They said, Virgo, oh my goodness. I'm crying so hard right now. <laughs> okay. They said you got vision problems. They said, you're not seeing it, Virgo. You're not seeing our love. You're not seeing the blessings. You're not seeing it. You're not seeing that everything is being taken care of according to a plan. You need to stop. You got vision problems. Some stagnation. Some stagnation that you have been stuck on. You need to stop, stay, stop focusing on that stagnation. So if you have been telling yourself, oh, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm stuck at this job. I'm stuck at this level. I'm stuck in the poverty wave, in the poverty limit. I've been stuck there my whole life. You need to stop looking at that, focusing on that, saying that Virgo. Instead, say something is okay. Even through the stress, say it is okay. Have harmony through the stress. Have harmony through the pain. Know that you're going to be okay through the pain because you are lucky. You are blessed. You're going to be rewarded even though you feel like you are constricted, even though you feel like you can't have friends. <laughs> Virgo, just compromise with the energy. Say okay. Say okay. Compromise with the energy and be okay with your surroundings and everything. And know that it's not magic. No magic is holding you back. No magic is causing this. No, there's no people in the background in their closet doing witchcraft on you. No, Virgo. There's no magic. Gifts in nightmare and illness. I feel like you are gifted, Virgo. And this may manifest in suffering. And disease and weakness. Because I feel like something else depends on something else. And it all has to do with your imagination. It all has to do with your imagination. One thing is connected to another. One thing is connected to your faith and your belief in what you imagine. And if you imagine that there's people out there doing witchcraft on you and that is hurting you and holding you back, guess what? That energy, that energy is what you're going to get. That is a mental imaginational trap that you are putting yourself in, listening to, thinking it's karma, thinking there's people coming against you. Family, fright, and confinement. Some of you have been haunted by your family. Okay, go downstairs. Go ahead. Some of you have been haunted by some type of family energy. You are not confined to that shit, Virgo. 
withdraw from the idea that something supernatural is coming towards you withdraw from the idea that supernatural energy can harm you even though something happened in your past you have some type of memory that you're dwelling on that's causing hesitation in your self-love causing hesitation in in your life virgo in the things that you take it is causing you to be tempted into taking and doing things when all you need to do is make amends in your reality, make amends in the program in your mind where you've been telling yourself. We have stubbornness and overload in alliance in the reverse. And because you've been stubborn, Virgo, they haven't been able to create this alliance with you. They need you to stop being stubborn. They need you to relax because without that, they can't have a connection to you. When you do relax, when they can connect to you, that's when you have this gang. That's when they can treat you like a sweetheart. That's when they can That's when they can take care of you. And that's when the blessings flow into your life. It's all a mindset and, and the state of your reality that allows your ancestors and guides and these angels to help you. But Virgo, sometimes you protest. Sometimes you don't listen to your intuition. Sometimes you don't go towards the things that you were led to. Sometimes you don't showcase your talents. Sometimes you don't showcase your talents. You hold it back out of pride. You hold back out of pride. You see the worth. You want to work towards something out of pride and ego. And that's not what they told you to do. And this is what that conflict comes in. When you go down an adventure that's going to cause you some type of loss. And they love you, Virgo. So they can't collaborate in this. They can't help you. That's when you start receiving lack. That's when your money starts messing up. See, it's not about witchcrafts and the crazy, scary things that, that tarot likes to put into people's mind because they see manipulation and then they blame it on something else. It all starts with you. It all starts with, of course, there's manipulation out there, okay? But when you are connected to the angels, when you are connected to your guys, they can collaborate with you where they have this strategy where you learn lessons and you move around. But Virgo, when you don't learn the lessons and you don't get the idea, they can't help you. And that's when things die. That's when you experience lack. That's when you experience a poverty mindset. That's when you experience a poverty reality. When you aren't connected to the angels, when you aren't connected to God, when you aren't connected to source. That's why it says pray, pray constantly, pray without ceasing. So your mind is always on the angels. Your mind is always on God. Your mind is always on collaborating with people and places and things that help you for the long run only participating in things that help you with the long run but we all have free will the the angels can't control you so you go and do things and then you ask for help but with the robbery in the reverse triumph deception and savings it feels like if then you we the angels can't control you but then you ask for help virgo and with the robbery robbery in the reverse nothing unfair happened to you that's what just what you chose to do so they couldn't participate but success comes in deceiving ways maybe you had to experience something to know that's not, to know that's not what you're supposed to do virgo that's the energy with triumph and deception and we have savings. Sometimes fa failure looks like failure, but it's actually success because they were saving you from deception. Period. So stop looking at things like I lost this job. Now I'm poor. Maybe it's I lost this job because I was supposed to get a better one. Stop looking at things that, that are happening to you and blaming it on outside circumstances. Take full accountability for every choice that you make, Virgo. Have full awareness of and self-awareness of your actions and where you are going and how this will benefit to, to you in any way. And that's how you move forward, Virgo. Because if you're not trying to benefit your life by your actions, the angels can't support you, period. If you are moving towards something in 
for deception, for a bad cause, they cannot help you. If you're moving towards something that is deception, that is a lost cause, they cannot help you. So they got to let you fail. They got to let you fall. They got to let your their money go down. And so you, to you focus on your money and try to get out of it, Virgo. See, sometimes they fuck with your money so that you stop focusing on that thing that they want you to stop focusing on. Sometimes they take that house away. They take that job away. They take that person away. So you can focus on the things that can bring you blessings. So not everything is a punishment. Uh, not every failure is actually a failure. <laughs> not every misfortune is witchcraft. <laughs> and know that the angels are here trying to support you, trying to give you love. They want to reach out. They want to hold you. They want to kiss you on the forehead and, and fill your pockets with abundance, Virgo. They want to give it to you all. But in order to do that, they need you to collaborate with them in, in meaningful, sensible, logical ways. That means you cannot go against your logic. You cannot go against your logic and get into a relationship that you know is not going to go anywhere. You can't go into and go against your logic while working at a job that's never going to go anywhere. You're never going to promote in that job. You're never going to do anything. You're just hustling and living. Virgo, they need you to change your perspective, your programs, your mind, the way that you think, the way that you move. So then they can partner with you. I was just, I was just praying for that earlier. To make a place, to make my place conducive to angels, for angels to be around, for God to be around. See, sometimes our environment makes it so the angels can't help us. Sometimes we're so negative that they can't be in that low vibration, Virgo. So you have to bring your vibration up high to be connected to this energy. I hope that you understand. This is what I got here for you, Virgo. If you resonated with anything here, please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next to the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.